Hello YouTube, this is Sonic 2 kk here, and welcome back to another Love 0.9.0 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the rather small, mo well, yeah, small-ish module compared to the graphics module and such, uh, Love.System module. Now, the Love.System module allows you to interface with certain uh, system level things in Love. Um, for example, we could say local OS, OS equals Love.System. Uh, get OS and then here we can say um, love.graphics.print uh, current OS if you don't know what OS stands for operating system current OS and that's at zero zero current OS OS 10 now that can return Linux uh, I believe it's Linux 32 and Linux 64 that it returns, and Windows 32 and Windows 34, or Windows 32 and Windows 64. Uh, you can look on the Love website, or the Love system uh, website, for a full list of things that it will uh, cover. Another thing we can do is we could say local uh, clipboard text, and then here we can say clipboard text equals love.system.get clipboard text. And then love.graphics.print uh, clipboard text to string clipboard text at uh, 0 020. Hello YouTube, this is not a case clipboard text here. <laughs> yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't help myself, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I just had to. I had to. Something was compelling me to do that. Yeah. You can also get something pretty uh, strange here. I'm not entirely sure why you would want this, but you can get it. Uh, par state. We can say par state equals love dot system dot get par info. I believe that's the method. Love dot graphics. Uh, par state to string um, par state and it should be at uh, 0 40 and charged because my battery right now is charged Um, if it wasn't charged it would say even though up here it's 99% it's pretty much 100 because the, the battery uh, symbol is green on my MacBook, I need to have my laptop in charge, and you should know that whenever I'm plugged into my 27-inch uh, monitor, which I am on, obviously, because it's a 720 screen, this is 1920 by 1080. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you were on a power supply, I think it would say something different. If you were charging, it would say something different. Unknown is also a, a power state that it that love can return. But yeah, the, this is this could be useful to some of you if you're depending on the app that you're making. Uh, it could be useful. We can also say a uh, local um, processor count. Processor count equals love dot system dot get uh, processor count. And then here we can say uh, love dot graphics dot print uh, number of cores. To string because this returns the amount of cores in your computer. Uh, right now, I think I have two cores. I believe I have two cores. Processor count, but we'll find out soon enough. Four. Oh, I have four cores. Huh. Oh yes, yes, that makes sense. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I'm I'm derping, but yeah, number of cores four. I have four cores in my computer. Uh, we can also set clipboard text. So uh, love dot key pressed. Let's see uh, key. Or no, uh, love dot key. You know love dot system dot dot set key or uh, set. I can't type today. Clip uh, clipboard text to a uh, key. And it's for some reason not working. Hold on. Oh, well, wait. No, it's not working because uh, 
I have it so that it's clipboard text and then clipboard text isn't being updated. So we should probably update it here. Uh, there we go. What did it say? That start uh, clipboard text F because it, well, it's not setting love clipboard text, it's setting your actual keyboard uh, text. So then if I went into sublime text, and I pasted it when I had it, it would be C because that was the last character I typed. Um, maybe this isn't the best example. Maybe we should be printing up here uh, love.system.get clipboard text. So then it would be more accurate. But uh, for the sake of argument, we should just keep it like this. Uh, it's not the most efficient way. But anyway. Oh, I should also mention that. Uh, Love.system is a new module introduced in um, Love 0.9.0 and it replaced um, love.underscore version. I believe it was love.underscore version because in Lua, in case you don't know, you can say underscore version and that gets you the Lua version. So uh, love.underscore version, all lowercase, was uh, the old way of doing it. I believe it still works, but it's kind of iffy and you're better using love.system to get OS. The final uh, method that we should probably cover is uh, open URL. So love, uh, I don't know, if the mouse is pressed, we should say uh, love.system.open URL. So, okay, let's build this. And if we press the mouse, then in our browser, it will take us to my website, uh, specifically my blog. Which if you've not checked out my website yet, you should probably check it out because it's pretty awesome. Oh, what's crack? <laughs> yeah, the website is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Probably because I made it. But yeah, that is a uh, love URL open. It basically uh, opens URLs. That is uh, the entire uh, module. So remember, OS love that. System that get OS gets your OS. Get this gets clipboard text. Love that system that get clipboard text. Love that system that get power info will get if your your battery. It will say battery charging or battery charged um, unknown. And there's two other ones. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but they are. But they're for desktops. Um, if you're running on a desktop, you will find out what they are. One example of this actually that I thought of was my friend Gustav made a launcher, and he was able to get all this info, and it was used for his game to decide certain things, certain graphics to display, to see if um, the game was powerful enough, uh, and, and so on. Uh, he used it there. So if like if the computer had less than four cores or something, the game couldn't run. I'm not entirely sure if that was the exact figures, but it was, uh, he probably actually didn't do that. But that was one example that you could use uh, love.system.get processor account for. Uh, set clipboard text, it sets your clipboard text, and URL open will open a URL. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully, yeah, uh, the this story was comprehensive enough. Comprehensive enough. Uh, all this code will be in paste bin for you to check out. Um, uh, I I should probably say I don't condone just copy and pasting code because it's not a good way to learn. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment or uh, send me a tweet, and I will get back to you asap as soon as possible. Share it with your friends if you think they'll find this tutorial useful or love useful, or if they want to learn, learn how to do game development then send them a link to the playlist but that's gonna be it for this, uh, this uh, tutorial my name is Sonic TKK and I will see you in the next tutorial